It's time now for the Peter Channel New News Report on this Friday, July 22nd, 2016. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Peter Wiggins, and now your 12 new news headlines. Top story at noon time is Cleveland, where Donald Trump said goodbye to the city on Friday, pronouncing the Republican National Convention a huge success and launched a broad departing shot to GOP rival Ted Cruz, who refused to endorse Trump in the country for speech that get the Texas senator booed on Thursday. On Wednesday, Hillary Clinton closing on her selection on a renovate on Friday with Senator Timothy M. Kane of Virginia Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack and Senator Cory Brook of New Jersey all under active consideration at Quinn and Democrat with the knowledge. Former Ku Klux Klan leader David Duke announced Friday on his website that he planned to run for U.S. Senate in Louisiana. A registered Republican, he would be seeking an open seat vacated by Republican David Bitter. Progress can feel like a trenchant stutter in March, but it can feel like a bull train skimming over the earth. It all depends. On the lens but which you can view the progress. Dennis Queen, who coached Minnesota Vikings and Arizona Cardinals over 13 NFL seasons, died Friday morning at the age of 67. Family friend and former agent Ray and sort of confirmed the death to ESPN's app and the chef after speaking with Green says he had cardiac arrest. Today, one of our all time favorite talks turns three. Prince George the Boy will be one day be king as a quite an adventure during the new short time in his body. It is already met with the President of the United States. U.S. officials say electric power has been restored to the Nitric Air Base in southern Turkey. The base has been operating on a backup generator since July 16th when the power was shut off at an all military bases in the Turkey fall to the failed coup military coup. The official search is nearly over what amateur comb beaches to look like more debris of a ready hit air. Efforts that turned up pieces of the wing that showed in the planet didn't know it's in the ocean. Nice France days before the attack that killed 84 people in the French Riviera. President Francis Hollande's government defended security forces that safeguarded the city and the nation during a European soccer tournament. Zambanga City, Philippines. Philippine President Roberto Duarte called for an end of violence during a visit to the predominantly Muslim region of the country. Paris. French will own a trailer to fight. The Islamic State from Iraq can send an aircraft carrier to the region. French President Francois Hollande said on Friday. Paris. France has ordered Microsoft Corporation to make changes to data collection and security features of its new Microsoft 10 operating system. Battle Woods, Louisiana. Matthew Jones served four years in the Marines and seven years in the Army, including three tours in Iraq before he joined the Battle Woods Police Department and the Prince Albert Rookie at the age of 41. And his final goodbye set for slain Battle Woods officers. Austin police faced a series of questions after local media revealed that there was a tweak in an officer yanking a woman from a car and violently threw her on the ground during a traffic stop. No new leads have been reported in the search with Jesse Wilson, the 10-year-old Buckeye Arizona boy missing for more than three days. After a much publicized sale process that dragged down for months and drew interest from parties as diverse as Warren Buffett and Daily Mail, Yahoo may have finally have found a match. Verizon. The news earlier that the weak, the ambitious 54.5 MBG corporate event fuel which is targeted as dead in the water wasn't a welcome to those worried about the ever growing problem of climate change. Amazon is stepping into the loan loan based on the online retail center to partnership with San Francisco lender, Wells Fargo. Unemployment rising in Dallas, Fort Worth in June as Texas has more jobs in key sectors. Pagoda, Colombia. The Colombian Navy has taken delivery to new critical and made amphibious landing ships and Ministry of Defense announced Thursday. Astana, Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan has launched its first modernized special forces ship of the country's naval forces, the Ministry of Defense announced. New York, critical process held relatively flat to the start of trade and fighting with mostly happy interest in standing balance and against lingering Russian and European concerns. Cleveland. Around most of the be voters back to the strong U.S. energy sector survey finds a hawkish oil and gas policy is backed more by those considered Republicans. As U.S. public health officials determine where Zika has arrived in our country, doctors are establishing guidelines on how to care for the rising number of babies whose members were infected with the virus during pregnancy. Smokers who try to give up tobacco drink less alcohol than other smokers in a new study suggests. The Justice Department calls its largest criminal health care fraud markers. Ever part against individual suspects, three people have accused of orchestrating massive fraud involving a number of Miami-based health care providers. 
A study in the New England Journal of Medicine yesterday showed that a meningitis B vaccine based on when administered to join an outbreak at Princeton University in 2013 produced an immune response to the most recipients, but 34% had no immune. Okay, looking at local news from the Senate 1205 in North Edinburgh, Massachusetts. A clerk in a sneaker store at Emerald Square Mall faces charges he stole at least $2,100 over the two months he worked at the store. Anthony J. Graff has here 26 to grants and pleaded innocent to a felony charge, lawsuit in charge Friday in Edinburgh District Court. He was arrested Thursday at the store following an internal investigation by the company. Gravatri allegedly stole the money by making a series of fraudulent customer returns and merchandise and popular money according to court records. He is due back in court on September 7th. Massachusetts is getting more than $1 million from a federal settlement to disease control to prevention to fight the spread of the mosquito-borne Zika virus. The state's granted just a portion of the $60 million in the CDC is awarded in the state's cities and territories to protect people from adverse health effects including serious perfect effects. The funding will support activities to protect the health of the public, especially pregnant women, for epidemic loss, surveillance, and investigation, driving laboratory capacity and improvement of mosquito control and monitoring. Cambridge, Massachusetts trustees for Episcopal Divinity School in Cambridge say because of the financial challenges of the seminary will stop granting degrees to the end of the upcoming academic year and transition to a new mission. All right, let's take a look at the stock market and commodity reports. G weighs on industrials as the Dow is up 2284 points at 18,540.07. SP 500 up 6.41 and 21.71.58. The Nasdaq up 24 but 90 points at 5,098.80. European market index 8 and 3 quarters down at 10,147.46. FTSE up 30.59 at 6,730.48. CAC up 4.85 at 4,381.10. Asia markets decay down 182 by 97 at 69627.25. Shanghai down 26.58 at 3012.43. HSI down 36.22 points at 21964.27. As McDonald's Japan loses team despite Pokemon Go launch. Oil markets oil down 84 cents at 43.91. Brent 45.38 at down 82 cents. And natural gas 2.767% up 75,000 points. As oil falls nearly 2% and for a weekly decline as cut fears persist. Gold down 8 per 10 at 1322.90. Silver at 19 6 down, down at 125. And copper 2.231 down at 275,000 point. In the bond, investor added data as a US 10 yield down 2,000 point at 1.5628. Bond 10 year yield down 29% at 2,000 point down. And Japanese 10 year yield down 4,000 point at 235%. FX bond stall on track for a five straight weekly gain as bond as yen slip. European US dollar 1.0964 down 59,000 point. US dollar Japanese yen 106.21 up 41 cents. And Great Bear Bond US dollar 1.309 down 142,000 point. Looking at agriculture commodities, the agriculture futures wheat 422 and a quarter up 4.5. Soybean 978 3 quarters down 33 and 3 quarters. Corn 339 and 3 quarters down 1. Sugar 1943 down 13 cents. Coffee 141.20 down 5.65. Cotton 72.82 down 15 cents. Red fast 10.415 down 195,000 points. And Coco 2008 down 11. Live cattle 18.78 up 1.175. Lion Hogs 74.30 down 15 cents. And FT cattle 136.60 up 2,020 cents. Bader Channel News Time is 12.08. And it is time now to take a look at the sports scene where the Boston Red Sox will be taking on the Minnesota Twins in the second of a four game series at Fenway Park. While the Buckner Bucks will be taking on the National Civil Knights at Campanelli Stadium game time 7.05 p.m. Geneva, much of an intense Olympic action before the Rio de Janeiro game is open in less than two weeks is set to play out of the old court. LeBron Bell faces a four game suspension and missed drug test. Dan Grizzly at ESPN reports under. The NFL substance abuse policy. Players can be disciplined not only for the test positive, but also that they do not make themselves available for a test. A higher expectation for the revamp New York Knicks, New York point guard Derek Rose Criasse said some people have put the New York in the same super team as classes of Golden State Warriors. The only team in NBA, the Boston Celtics, we told them that. As Jay Crowder comments to Celtics, the criminal Kevin Durant. Pierre Chell News Time is now 12.09 on this Friday. Afternoon, and it is time now for a traffic and trend report. Beep! 
Let's start off on the MBT, where the subway system is looking good, but on the commuter rail, Kingston Plymouth train 060 1005 AM is operating 10 to 20 minutes behind schedule between stop women and substation due to cross an issue. Plymouth train 063 10 50 AM is operating 10 to 20 minutes behind schedule between stop women and Plymouth due to cross an issue, but other all the lines are looking good and then ferries they are looking good. And now looking at the maps where the highways and byways at New York City are slow go. But take a look at Connecticut, 95 in the North Pantai. It is back to New Rochelle, New York, all the way at Norwalk, Connecticut. 95 in the South Pantai, also the Bridge, Norwalk stretch. 95 in the North Pantai, back to Milford, all the way at New Haven. 95 in the South Pantai, also in New Haven stretch. 91 in both ends, also at the Route 9 in Milton. IA for East Pantai, also for Newtown, all the way at the Waterbury, Connecticut. 91 in the South Pantai, also at 69 with the Maryland, Connecticut. 91 on the north band side, it is back to by the IE4 in Hartford, Connecticut. 395 on the north band side, it is also at Route 16, Killingly. Route 78 at the east band side, also at West Street, Connecticut. 95 on the south band side, it is slow from Tekkenan to Providence. 130 on the east band side, also at the Newport stretch. 24 on the south band side, also at the Fall River stretch. 25 on the east band side, also at the Buzzards Bay. Route 3 on the north band side, also at Plymouth stretch. Route 3 on the south band side, also at 38 South Plymouth, while we adapt to Sandwich. Route 3 to South Pantai, also from the Spring Tree Split, all the way out to Route 220 in Rockland. 220 in the North Pantai, so from Rockland, all the way out to Derby Street, South Pantai, South Pantai, both ends, so from the Mass Pack, all the way to the Bay Tree Split. 93 to South Pantai, so from Medford, all the way to Zick Bridge. Route 1 in the South Pantai, so from the Torpen Bridge. Route 1 in the North Pantai, so from River Stretch. Mass Pack, all the West Pantai, is back there from West, Burr, all the way out to IE Ford Surridge. I 91 in the South Pantai, also around 291, all the way to 57. 91 in the North Pantai, back there to Chickabee Stretch. 91 on the north, south band side, also north after stretch. 290 on the east band side, so from Shrewsbury to Marlborough. 495 on both ends, also on 290 in Marlborough. 120 on both ends, it is slow from Needham all the way out to Burlington. And 93 on the north band side, also from Woburn all the way out to Redding. 93 on the south band side, it is slow from Medford Island to Boston. South Expressway, both ends, so from Boston Island to the Brain Tree. 495 on the north band side, it is slow for 230 in Lawrence. 93 on the south band side, also on Lawrence. 495 and South Pantai, so from Haber all the way to Lawrence. 95 and the North Pantai, and it's so from Hampton all the way up to Portsmouth. 93 and the North Pantai, and also north of 393 in Cockney, up to 295 in the East Pantai, North Pantai, and it's so from the main to back to South Portland, and towards Port Route 1 and South Pantai, also from Brunswick, Maine. Interstate 87 and both ends, also after the Board up in Vermont. 89 and South Pantai, and 91 and South Pantai, and also after the Board up in Vermont, and 91 is 95 to South Pantai, and also Palmyra, Maine, and Waterville, Maine. Here, Channel News Time is now 12 12 on this Friday afternoon, and it's time now for a weather report. And make sure you have lots of water to drink because it is hot outside. Current conditions here in Norton, 89 degrees, a temperature of 61% humidity. Heat index is 98. Dewport, a sticky 74 degrees, and barometer trend at 79. It's falling slowly. Winds are calm to the west northwest. Alright, take a look at current conditions around the region. It is 88 at Lowland, Boston at 89. Beverly and Gloucester at 87 Island. Bedford, 90 in Fitchburg is 82 in Worcester. It is 88 in Norwood, 84 in Taunton, 83 in Bedford. It's 86 in Plymouth, 82 in Falmouth, 79 in Chatham, 78 in Marfstory, 75 in Nantucket. It's 86 in Providence, 78 in Block Island, 79 in Montauk, 84 in Nislip, 86 in New York State. Perry, 84 is in Bridgeport, New Haven, and also 84 in Denver, Connecticut. It's 82 in Warburg, Connecticut. It's 87 in Meriden, Connecticut, 89 in Northfield, and Winslow, Connecticut. It's 88 in Springfield, Massachusetts, 82 in Orange, Massachusetts, 87 in North Adams, Massachusetts, 82 in Pittsfield, that's 82 in Albany, 86 in Surrey Springs, 77 in Brown, Vermont, 79 in Bainton, Brown, Vermont, 84 in Lebanon, Connecticut, Lebanon, New Hampshire, it's 86 degrees in Keener, 82 in National Hampshire, it's 82 in Jefferson, Hampshire, 89 in National Hampshire, Perry, 86 in Manchester, Cork, New Hampshire, 82 in La Corrine, New Hampshire, it's 84 degrees out in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and 83 degrees up in Portland, Maine. Alright, look at it, some. Service map around the country shows a stage front from Otto stretching all the way down the Northern Plains down to Chicago. And we got a stage front off the Florida coast. Uh, front of mine with a low pressure system stretching from Southeastern Bridge coming down from Washington State. Uh, front of mine down for California. 
uh, for by low pressure system from Southern Nevada down for Western Arizona down for Gulf of Capital, low pressure down for Southeastern California, low pressure north of Kansas and from uh, Western Kansas down for Western Oklahoma down for Western Texas, for by from Missouri stretching down Southern Illinois and down for Indiana, uh, for by from Virginia stretching up to Boston and uh, for by from north to New York stretching up in the uh, eastern New Brunswick. With a low pressure systems in northeastern Wyoming, eastern Washington State, and northern Kansas, and we got high pressure ridges in the Colorado Rockies, and around the southeastern states, and around the northern plains. 85 degrees out in Detroit, 75 in Pittsburgh, 85 in Washington, D.C., 82 in Atlanta, 86 in Miami, 46, 87 in Brownsville, Texas, 9 in Dallas, Texas, 88 in Kansas City. 78 in Chicago, it's 85 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 87 in Omaha, Nebraska, 7 degrees out of Great Falls, Montana, 16 in Seattle, 57 in San Francisco, 75 in Los Angeles, it's 90 in Las Vegas, 95 in Phoenix, 86 in Salt Lake City, 82 in Denver, 78 out in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Alright, let's look at the radar, and it shows... A little... Batch of rain showers, northeast of Bennington, Vermont. And it's a spotty patch of drizzle west of Westover, Vermont. Zooming you out. Seeing a few spotty rain showers south of Syracuse, New York. But this is a big line of heavy showers and thunderstorms stretching west from from Altoona, Pennsylvania, a line from Huntington, Pennsylvania, stretching south of Altoona, and current a uh, lot of downpours stretching from Rochester Mills, Pennsylvania, stretching out of Westmont, Pennsylvania, and stretching in Westville, Pennsylvania, and stretching west toward the Pittsburgh Midpond area where we're seeing a uh, look at the Pittsburgh region, and it shows a uh, line of showers and thunderstorms around the Pittsburgh area, around Scott Township, stretching in Whitehall, down for Clareton, down for New England, down in the Donora, down at Van Vers, and down at 84 in Washington, Pennsylvania, and down at Rich Hill, down in Kennesburg, and another line of showers and storms stretching from Whitaker, down for North Versailles, and down from Monroeville, and up to the west of Marmont and Belmont. So, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, expect this to be a lot of rain, flashes of lightning, and take cover. Inside because it is a lot of precipitation inspected and to head towards southeast towards Connellsville and never stretched towards Westport and Somerset is next and these lines of shots and thunderstorms. And stretching it out a little bit to the west. We're seeing a line of shots and thunderstorms stretching south of New Philadelphia, Ohio, stretching down to Castleton and down for Columbus and down for Dayton, Ohio. We're seeing a heavy bend of shots and storms from Wilmington, stretching all the way down the East of Xenia, down for Circleville, and west of Lancaster, Ohio, and a heavy shards and thunderstorms around the south of Sigma, just northeast of Cincinnati. So expect a lot of shards and thunderstorms. Alright, zooming out, out in the radar around the country, and it shows a line of shards and storms stretching from eastern Quebec, stretching down northeastern parts of New Brunswick, down for western and eastern parts of a Prince Edward Island, Atlanta, Shards and Swords from Southern Indiana, not for Western Kentucky, and curving around Missouri, not for Iowa. Clusters of Shards and Thunderstorms stretching from the Gulf Coast of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, down for the Florida Gulf Coast, and around Southern Florida, stretching up the 95 down to Data Breach, and rain showers east of Florida, and stretching to northern Cuba, and Atlanta's of rain showers and storms off in northeast of Mexico. Patchy rain showers around Wyoming, and the stretch down in southwest of Montana, down for the north center of Idaho. Idaho and Atlanta rain shots from the western quarters down for southern Canada and Atlanta rain shots just from Washington State down for British Columbia down for southwest Alberta down in northern Idaho. Man. And look at that satellite loop and it shows Atlanta clouds around the Canadian Maritimes and Atlanta clouds around the Ohio Valley. And switching on Pennsylvania down for western Maryland and Atlanta clouds switching from the Gulf states and switching on the western Florida Gulf Coast and on the southern Florida Coast and switching around. The Bahamas and Lionel Clouds on Arizona and Eastern Wyoming and up the Western Plains. Lionel Clouds on Yellowstone Valley and Lionel Clouds on Washington State. Down for seven British Columbia and down for seven Alberta and Lionel Clouds from Northern Saskatchewan down for British Columbia. All right, look at what is going on in the tropics in the Atlantic. Nothing going on in the Atlantic. 
Take a look at Post Truckle Cyclone STL is max sustained winds 40 miles of minimum set pressure 1,005 millibars and located 20 with 8 north of the 133 provided of the west and troublesome Georgette max sustained winds of 40 knots and 45 miles per hour minimum set pressure 1,004 miles an hour and 12.3 north of 170.1 in the west movement west northwest at 13 miles an hour and Georgette's gonna It's Trapper Storm Frank, Max the same winds 50 miles an hour, minimum set pressure 1,002 millibars, located at 17.3 in the north, 107.4 of the west. Moment, northwest at 12 knots at 14 miles an hour. Alright. Take a look at wellness weather. Air quality unhealthy for some, Paul moderate, UV index very high, and fire danger high. And look at that forecast discussion. Heat and humidity increased today along with risk of some scattered shots and thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening, some of which may be severe. There will be a few leftover thunderstorms on Saturday. Hot weather expected to continue this weekend and approaching close front of wind and around the shot, scattered shots and thunderstorms Monday night and Tuesday. More warm weather follows. Midweek. Heat index as expected to reach mid uh, upper 90s across much of the area. A few hours this afternoon, there's a rain to be low heat advisor criteria, but still high enough that we have some impact make big mention of SPS with convector that will be updating shortly. Most of the forecast area remains in a slight risk of SPC. Vertical shear would look to be largely high enough to support a strong storm that two combined with sufficient instability. And that may be a little overdone, and it's convected, robust, but still looks like enough ingredients for the products for pulse storms and perhaps small clusters with the potential for localized temperature winds and large hail. Principal bar is one and a half inches higher. Maybe suggested every downpour is going to be an issue. It's also been important, especially with the storms will fire. The base suggested a weak boundary in the east of New York Long Interstate 9 quarter and some activity may initially fire over the higher terrain. They may see some F4 boundaries when storm and cluster of initial and mechanisms of future convection. The surface of the looks to remain high and well into the evening and fit seem individual storms of small clusters develop often through. At least many evening believers may see some thunderstorm development in the issue around 3 p.m. Have adjusted temperature a little upwards in the portion of the air based on current trends that consist of all about 850 millibars, temperature 19C to 20C minute late afternoon across the eastern half of the area. Alright, expecting today's highs to be 88 to 94 degrees for this afternoon. Tonight's low is 66 to 75 degrees. Tomorrow's highs 85 to 95 and Sunday's highs 81 to 91 degrees. And if you're going to Fenway Park for the Red Sox Twins game, first pitch at 7 10 p.m. will be 85 degrees with a sunny and be on the lookout for some showers and thunderstorms in the area. The Rock the Rocks forecast, Rock the Rocks versus Nashville Silver Knights. First pitch 7 5 p.m. 85 degrees. With showers and thunderstorms in the area. And if you got Cape and Island forecast, Saturday 8 degrees with humidity in the area, and Sunday 82 degrees with better humidity. All right. Take a look at special weather statement. Heat and scattered thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. Air temperatures will reach to the low to mid 90s this afternoon, most locations across southern New England back from the immediate south coast. This heat index will be likely to be reached to the mid upper 90s for a few other double locations. All heat advisory country will not be reached. People working to play that towards the numbers wish health conditions that might be exaggerated by the heat and humidity should take precautions. Scattered thunderstorms are expected this afternoon due to this evening. A few of these thunderstorms may produce damaging wind gusts, hail, and very heavy downpours capable of produce a localized street flood at the time of the greatest risk of storm. Stronger severe thunderstorms will be during mid afternoon to the evening. Seek shelter at severe thunderstorm water station for your area and the sky becomes threatened. Additional strong thunderstorms are possible Saturday afternoon to early evening across northern eastern Massachusetts, including adjacent coastal waters. Has more about day one today, tonight, air quality alert, and along with the scattered severe thunderstorms, day two for seven, Saturday for Thursday, no hazard respect, weather expected at the time, and air quality alert, the Massachusetts about if I protect tradition and air quality extra day for ground level ozone, in effect from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern day on the time of the Friday. An air quality action day means that ground level ozone considerations with the region may approach a state and healthy standards for additional information. Alright, 70 forecast goes like this. For this afternoon, most of the sky have about 93 degrees. South was about 10 miles an hour, with gusts as high as 3 miles an hour. For tonight's sky shot, the thunderstorms may be between 7 p.m. and 3 a.m. Some storms pretty severe with large hail, temperature, winds, heavy rain, and frequent light and patch of after 3 a.m. Whilst most of the sky are currently becoming mostly clear skies, about 70 degrees. South was about 5 to 8 miles of gusts as high as 24 miles an hour. Chest pain just 50%. No matter what, less than 10 minutes, check out my mouth possible thunderstorms for Saturday. Such a shot, thunderstorms after 4 p.m. 
So it's got about 82 degrees, what's about 69 miles at just makes 20 percent. So I did not such a shot as it does it before. 9 p.m. most of the sky is about 67 degrees, what's about 37 miles at just makes 20 percent. For Sunday, it says coming 80 degrees, no for about 5 miles at. For Sunday night, most of the sky is about 63 degrees, Monday, most of the sky is about 83 degrees. What is that? Chit chat, that's what's all possible for three years, we'll see. Class comes about 70 degrees, chest face is 50%. Tuesday, chit chat, so that's what's all before. 7 a.m., punk class comes at 84 degrees, chest face is 30%. So that's that, punk class comes at 68 degrees for Wednesday. Mostly, said the punk class comes at 85 to 65 degrees, and for Thursday, mostly, it's got about 87 degrees. Pairs, what a phrase of the day! A hot one in stores! Be on the lookout for thunderstorms in the area. Peter was saying, have a good afternoon, good positive interest to you at 4 p.m. for our Peter Channel, 4 o'clock news. Have a good afternoon.